one of the best things, my best economic indicator out there, is um, how good is the service behind the counter? In 2013, I went and bought a refrigerator for my daughter going off to college at Best Buy. And the guy behind the counter recognized me because he used to be a senior vice president at Morgan Stanley. And that just devastated me. Because in 1999, I don't know if you remember that economy, when we had 3.9% unemployment. I went to a place that used to be called Marshall Fields, and I snuck over from the bank. It was for Chicago at the time, not too far away from that on State Street, and bought something in 10 minutes. I, I wanted to get, in 10 minutes, I thought I could get a sweater with no one in line in front of me during Christmas. And I had to wait 25 minutes for the person to ring up to figure out how to work the cash register with no one in front of me. And she didn't speak English. And I thought, this is the best economy I've ever seen. So the fact that we're finally starting to train people again, that's hopeful. Unfortunately, a lot of people are marginalized, and we'd like to re-engage them. But the fact that we're willing to reach them, I think that was a real turning point yeah. last year. Growth depends on a couple of things. What are your limits in your labor market? How many people can you employ? How many people can you re-engage that have been marginalized? You want to bring them back in. But also, how many people can you tap into? And our population is zero growth right now. And in the labor force, half of all labor force growth has come from immigrants. And that sort of is not going to happen anymore. And um, our productivity growth is slowing. And so it's sort of an identity in economics. Labor force growth plus productivity growth equals GDP growth. So to keep things going, we need a lot of productivity growth now. OK. But nothing on the horizon scares you right now? Nothing structural within the economy? Oh, all kinds of things. All kinds of things. <laughs>